house. It is safe right here, according to residents, because of the proximity to the station house. But officers know when they're on the watch in the middle of the night, it is a lonely and vulnerable existence assigned to a location because there has been trouble there in the past. The question now, what more can be done to protect those officers who are on watch? At the entrance of the NYPD's 46th Precinct Station House, a growing display of flowers under purple and black bunting, hinting at the sadness that is rolling through the entire department. Another officer, a 12-year veteran, 48-year-old Miosotis Familia, ambushed, assassinated at point-blank range while she sat in a mobile command post in the Fordham Heights section of the Bronx. The suspect, 34-year-old Alexander Bonds, an ex-con who went online to express his animosity towards law enforcement. When you're not here, it's um, a madhouse. It's a war zone. But Buffalo native Regina Wiley, who moved to this neighborhood four years ago, says the dedicated police presence here is warranted. In fact, an NYPD spokesman confirms that command vehicle was stationed right off Grand Concourse in response to a series of recent shootings in the area. When you guys leave Ryer Avenue, nobody's going to remember us. Okay, today and tomorrow, there's national news, there's local news, there are all types of police officers here from other precincts to come and pay their respects. All right, but when when you guys leave in a couple days, Ryer Avenue is going to be right back to what it's been doing. It's been a free for all. So as the NYPD prepares to lay to rest Officer Familia, a mother to three children, there will surely be questions moving forward about the best way to ensure the safety of officers who are stationed in those command posts. One officer tells us some, but not all of those large vehicles have passenger window blinders, which could have concealed the fact that Officer Familia was sitting in the front. In light of this tragedy, we asked the department about the need to bolster the equipment to make sure that it's bulletproof while officers are sitting in those vehicles. This is the statement that we received back tonight from the NYPD. Quote, the department continues to focus on outfitting those vehicles used for enforcement with additional ballistic protection. The department has outfitted more than 2,000 vehicles with ballistic protection for the door. Currently, 151 vehicles are outfitted with ballistic protection for the front doors and windows. The department the department is continuing to retrofit additional vehicles as the equipment becomes available.